Hi guys, this is Riza here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a wonderful week last week. And for those of you that um, celebrated Thanksgiving, I hope you had a good one. I hope you didn't eat too much like I did. Anyway, um, for this week, uh, we have a wonderful reading showing. But first of all, I'd like to share some information with you guys, some things that I will be doing. First of all, I'm going to be giving away... Um, a couple of decks this month because it's Christmas because I'm grateful for everything you guys have done for me throughout the year your support your kind words your tender love that I can feel and I want to give something back to you guys for all of the kindness that you have shown me that's just the way that's going to go um, now, in order for you to join the giveaway, you have to like my videos. You have to thumbs up my video. Uh, you have to share it on Google with friends. Um, I also require you to comment below the video. I want to know what you thought of it and did it resonate with you. Also, I have links below the videos. Um, Underneath where it says more, if you click more, you'll see that there's certain links down there for my other sites. Um, I do have an art site. Uh, I would like you guys to look around there and see if there's anything that you like at the art site. Um, I also have a Facebook page and I have my Tarot blog. So I'm going to require you guys to go to my various sites. On my tarot blog, I do have a, a questionnaire or just a filling out of your email address so that you can join a, um, a newsletter, which I will probably um, start posting some things perhaps and send you um, whenever I have a, a reading uh, special or something going on. So I'm going to require you to go to my Tarot site, check around there. I also have a Facebook page that I would like for you to like my page and um, send me a friend request. Now while you are on those two pages, there is a link that I have put up there, a gift certificate that I'm going to be offering for the month of December all the way through to the end of December where I have various gift certificates that you can send to your friends of different readings and then of my artwork. Of my artwork I will um, of any of the paintings that you see on my art site the artwork is uh, a gift certificate for a print. The prints are going to be personalized with whatever you would like it to say to whomever you're sending it to so I have a gift certificate for that as well, and it's a copy of any of my paintings. Um, so you might be interested in something like that. For the holidays, it would also help me um, continue to be able to post my videos. It would give me a great support if you guys would um, take advantage of some of my specials. Okay. Now to the next thing. I hope I, I uh, said everything clearly because I'm trying not to forget the channeled message and everything else. So like my videos, guys. Um, sign up for um, my site, my Tarot site, or the other blog that I have. Just check out the links below. I'm not sure if you guys have ever done that, but I will require for you to become a friend of mine on Facebook. And through those lists and through the comments that you put below this video is how I'm going to choose my winners for one deck. Then later on during the month I will require it again and uh, then I'll choose for the next deck. And on my next next weekend I'll show you the decks that I'm going to um, raffle off. One of them is an oracle deck and the other is a tarot deck. So we'll see how that goes. Also remember if you would like a private reading with me check my links I also have the Patreon site if you would like to support me further on my endeavors and receive a card that I put out weekly during the week here and there. You can do that through my Patreon site. Okay, without further ado, let's get back to the reading. Um, this reading is going to cover the universal energies of November 
the 29th through to, I believe, December the 5th, which is next Saturday. And just so you guys know, that's my birthday. <laughs> so happy birthday, Sagittarius. For all of you that are going to be having birthdays sometime this week and the month of December, I love you guys. You're all part of my soul group. And um, when I was getting ready and prepared for the reading and I was meditating and speaking to the angels, they told me that the message I needed to talk about today was letting go and letting God. They feel that we live our lives and even though we're trying really hard to to open up paths for ourselves and to follow a path of enlightenment and, and such, we're, we're living in fear. We have lots of fears in our hearts from perceived mistakes or perceived choices that we have made in the past that have really um, hindered us from moving forward in our life paths. And our guides and our angels can see this, that we, we have lots of fears in our hearts and uh, they wish for us during this month of December to try to open up a little bit more to others around us because we do have soul groups we do have others that are in place to assist us we do have family we do have friends we have friends at work we have neighbors we have lots of people that are surrounding us all of the time even strangers sometimes can can aid us with things that they tell us and uh, their ideas, their just a, a salutation that may come to you at a moment when you're very low. Um, so during this week, I'd like for you guys to think about your your thoughts. And when someone comes up to you and says something that's synchronistic or that tries to uplift your your spirit, think about what exactly was it that, I, that you were thinking of that at that very moment why was this sent to you this message and look at the love that comes from those things I know that we're going to be challenged this week because everything is a challenge sometimes when you receive something good from the universe there's also a challenge that comes along with it that you must surpass and then you get your reward but they want us to open up our hearts a little bit because the fear that we're living in is preventing us from moving forward. Even in the things that we want, we're, we're asking the universe for certain things and we're not getting it because we're so closed, so closed in that it cannot come to us because we still have too many barriers up. So they want us to release, let go and let God, let the universe, however you want to call source, uh, guide you. Let them bring those things that you have been praying for and wanting in your life. Let it arrive. You you need to look around. You need to see what it is that makes you happy. What is it that you want? Go within um, and see where those fears lie. Where are you closing yourself off so that you can release that wall a little bit so that they can come in and bring to you the things that you want so that the sun does shine again in your life so that you do have moments where you feel like a child like you you can love again you're you're innocent you're innocent again you don't have all those negative thoughts and negative feelings that are blocking your heart you need to release that so that you can vibrate higher so that you can flow with the universal music with the flow energy of the universe which is very soft and loving but we are closing ourselves off to that and they want us to release a little bit okay now let's get to the reading today I have pulled cards from the cosmic tarot soul's journey and last but not least the cosmic desk deck of initiation if I could say it correctly all right, from the regular tarot cards, um, the bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. So our underlying energy is all about emotions, it's all about love, it's all about someone that's very romantic, 
someone that's very watery, soft, emotional, loving, kind. Someone that's a humanitarian, someone that is a counselor, someone that can help you, someone that can bring love into your life. Soft, watery. As you can see, there is a crab on his lapel. So it could be talking or pointing a finger to Cancers, Scorpios, Pisces men, women. People with those energies. Now just because it's a king, it doesn't mean it's a man. It just means that there's not that male energy, that leadership quality of that person that feels strong. They're very active. All of the males in the Tarot uh, represent action that's being taken. Action, forward movement. So it's all about your emotions this week. It's all about helping others. It's all about perhaps someone that steps into your life that could be very helpful, that could be very spiritual, that could be very um, controlled in his emotions, but teachers, counselors, things of those, men of those nature or females of those natures, okay? The first card that's showing <clears throat> for Monday or Sunday Go Sunday, tomorrow. It's choice. The lover's card. So it's all about making choices in life. Which direction you want to go in. Which person you would like to get to know. How do you get to know yourself so that you can then attract someone that's very close to who you truly are. Someone that would be a twin flame. Someone that would be a, a great... Um, spiritual connection not just from the body not just a physical attraction but one that comes from the soul a soul mate how do you attract this into your life you're going to be presented with some choices this week and you need to uh, really look within to see if the choices that you are going to make really really resonate with your soul and who you truly are because you need to choose from the heart from the soul area some of you may be meeting soul groups this year, or well, this year, this month, starting this month. You could be meeting people that are part of your soul group, that resonate with your soul. People that like the th same things that you like, that feel like you've known them forever, or that you have a connection with them somehow. So you need to choose carefully. Somewhere in those soul groups, you may meet someone that's very akin to your soul. So you need to use your intuition, like the Queen of Cups. She's someone that's very kind, very loving, loves nature, works with her emotions. She basically goes through life on her emotional feelings. If she feels something is dangerous, she doesn't go in that direction. If she feels that you are part of her soul group or someone that can mesh with her kindly and gently, she'll go in your direction. So she moves with her intuition and her emotions. But this person can come into your life as well as the King of Cups this week to try to help guide you. Or perhaps you'll meet them and they'll feel like they're part of your soul group this week. Maybe it's representing you. You using your intuitions to make the choices that you will be presented with this week. And some of those choices are going to feel like they were heaven sent. So choose carefully this week. See, she has a beautiful fan here with two fishes. Fishes represent abundance. So some of those choices may lead you down a path that's going to be very abundant, very loving, very kind. Um, people that you meet, they're, they're going to make you very happy. It also represents Pisces. Again, water signs. So you may meet someone that's a Pisces that's very spiritual and very loving towards you. Okay, That will have that female energy, that quality about them that is very soft and loving. But yet... Use your intuition. The next card is the Nine of Cups, right next to the Queen of Cups. 
here we have a couple, a young man that's looking at this beautiful woman and surrounded by cups. The sun is shining. The Nine of Cups represents love. It represents a wish. It represents something that comes into your life that you have been waiting for. Something that you have been wanting. And since they are cups, it represents emotion and it represents people that come into your life, that bring love into your life, that bring a situation or an atmosphere of something that you love, something that you like, something that lightens up your heart. So it could be that by using your intuition, you go in a direction of something that you have wished for, for a very long time, that makes your heart sing when you achieve this. These could all be parts of your soul group. So these are all going to be people that you're going to feel very close to. Okay, and this situation is going to be very close to your heart. Whether it's a person, whether it's a new job, whether it's a new home. It's something that you have desired that's going to make you feel very loved and very, very happy. And if it's a person, it's going to be someone that you have been praying and wishing to come into your life. And it's finally going to materialize. So be careful what you wish for. Carefully analyze it. The next card is the hangman. The hangman is telling you to look at things from a different perspective. To wait. To look within. You're going to have to sacrifice something in order for this wish to materialize. And you're going to have to use your intuition in order to achieve that. You're going to have to really, really look and uh, analyze this week, people. And look within. What is it you want? What is it you're willing to sacrifice in order to achieve your desired wishes? Because there, there will be something because this card represents sacrifice. You'll have to wait. You'll have to give up your freedom. You'll have to give up something. Something has to be given up in order to achieve what you desire. So, it's telling you to wait. Okay, don't make any sudden movements. This choice that you're going to have to make in order to achieve this union, whether it's work, a new home, a new partner, staying with your current partner, all of it. It's all of it together. This represents general reading for those that are listening to my channel, but it resonates a little bit with everyone. There's something there. There's a choice that you'll have to make in order to move forward. Whether you're in a relationship or not, you can be in a relationship, you could be thinking of moving to a new area, changing your jobs. You will have to use your intuition in order to achieve this choice that you're wanting to make. And it will lead you to something that you've wished for, something that's going to make your heart sing. So this isn't solely for someone that's single. This represents all of us, but we have to look at it from the angle that we need to look at it from. And the next card, right after the hangman, which is a very spiritual card, comes the hermit, another spiritual card. So they're asking you to stop, wait, follow your guidance. They're trying to guide you. That's why we need to let go a little bit. We need to let go of control. We need to go with the flow. Somebody asks you, hey, let's go um, listen to a... I don't know, concert, go to a movie, go, go, go look at some paintings, go, go do something out of the ordinary. Follow the intuition, follow the guidance that they're trying to guide you to do things. Listen, go within. There's a guiding light inside of you, like it is in all of us, and we need to follow that. But in order to achieve this, you have to be alone. You see how he's alone hanging? And he's alone. You can't be surrounded by people and having them distract you or distract yourself with anything. TV, computer, the phone. Put the phone away and go within. Meditate if you have to. Go, go out to a park and just sit under a tree and relax and go within. There's guidance that's, being, that's coming to you. They're wanting. They're being behind you. They're trying to give you guidance, but you need to listen. You're not listening. So it's asking you to go within in order to achieve your answers. What you're looking for is already within you. And you need to follow the guidance. You're going to be receiving some messages that come to you very quickly. 
And you see how this young man jumps. He's like happy. He's moving forward now. Because this guidance that you receive, the intuition, the guidance, the solitude, looking within, you're going to unblock something that's been blocked for a while. You're going to look within and say, okay, no more of this. I don't want this in my life anymore. I'm not doing this in my life anymore. I'm going in this other direction. I'm not holding back anymore. I'm not going to allow fear to stop me anymore. And then you break free. You move forward. There's going to be many messages that come to you, perhaps many invitations or different directions that you could go in. Again, before you do anything, you go within and you make sure that resonates with your heart chakra, with your soul, with your center. If it's something that makes you happy, move forward with it. Go forward. Go forward with your life. Stop s stopping yourself from enjoying your life. You may feel like you have lots and lots of responsibilities. See, this guy here is getting burned up by everything that's going around in his life. All his responsibilities, all his perceived um, actions or work or people... All his passions, everything that he wants to achieve. But he can't achieve them all because there's just too many and there's only one of him. Too many. So he's at the final point where he can no longer do everything that he thought he could. Everything that he wanted to do. So he releases himself. Like this guy. Poof. Release yourself from all of that you've perceived all of your passions, all of your struggles, all of your pain, get out of it because you can no longer burden, you can no longer carry that burden. <clears throat> it's too much. And it's going to consume you. Do not allow your passions to consume you. This, this is what it's telling you. What it's telling me to tell you. Do not allow it. <clears throat> Release yourself so that you can bring something into your life that you truly want. Not this. Not this. The end of the road takes you to the Empress this week. Where you're going to achieve something that you've wanted. You have abundance showing. You have a star shining. You have achieved something that's wonderful. You feel better. You look better. You're bringing abundance into your life. Something that you've desired. And you're no longer going to be under the pressure of so much stress. Of so many oppressions. So many thoughts. So many passions that you can't achieve. You're going to break through this. <clears throat> you're going to realize what's good. What isn't. What you need in your life. What you don't. So that you can free yourself to be this. To be the empress. To bring complete abundance. Complete love. Satisfaction into your life. Something beautiful that happens. A new idea that comes to you and you say, wow, this is what I want. This is the direction I need to go in. Let me break away from all this other stuff that's been holding me back for no good reason. And follow your intuition. The Soul's Journey cards are telling me that uh, worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. You can worry yourself to death. And all you did was kill yourself. Because what you perceive is something that you can overcome. What you perceive as a problem, whatever makes you worry, these passions that are controlling you, that are surrounding you, the worry needs to go. Worry does not change an outcome. No, it doesn't. All it does is paralyze you. So you need to release the worries from the past, the things that, that are worrying you. Release it because it's either a lesson or a blessing. Nothing for you to worry about. You need to break away from the fear. Fear is what makes you worry about things. Follow your guidance so that you can bring some peace into your life. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Bring peace into your thoughts, into your forward movement. No more of these struggles. Break free from it. Break free. Look within. You have the answers within you to bring peace into your heart and your life. 
people that are entering your life, even though you may perceive them as something scary or something to worry about, don't do that. Look at it from a different angle. Perhaps they're there for something else. Nothing for you to worry about. Perhaps it's a new friend. Someone that's going to be a friend for a very long time. Look at it from a different perspective. Use your intuition and use your love. Be kind and loving to others. This represents love. This represents a wish that you do achieve this week. Something that you've wished for is coming. Keep your eyes open for it so you don't miss it. Because it's going to come because of a choice that you make. So you have to make the right choice. Whatever pulls you, something will pull your heart chakra. Whatever pulls you, that's the direction you go in. It's going to be a choice. And one of them is going to lead you to the right path. Now... From the very beginning, Archangel Michael decided, I want to give a message as well. So, he was the first deck that flew into my hand somehow. And again, it's all about love this week. And it's all about soul groups, soulmates, romance angels. Here we go. I left the best for last. So, if you didn't listen all the way through, too bad. Okay, first card, Eternal Love. For, from Archangel Michael. Help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving and expressing and giving love. It's all about eternal love. So some of you lucky dogs out there are going to meet your soulmate, twin flame, a love that's going to be with you forever now. From now until your end of days for you in this life. Someone that wants to be with you. It's a love that comes from another lifetime. So it's it's a past life connection that you have with this person. Because of it being eternal love. It's love that doesn't die even if you die. It's still with you. So some of you are going to be meeting a soulmate that comes from another lifetime. Just know. Recognize this person as already knowing you. This person is going to recognize you immediately. <clears throat> even if you don't recognize them. But you will have that curiosity to get to know this person. Again, it's important because we're getting this. So It's an important soulmate that even if it just turns out to be a friend or someone that helps you to, to take you to another level or perhaps uh, teaches you something, you need to know this person. Whoever this person is, for all of us, it will be someone different. Okay? So it's an eternal love. It's something that comes from another lifetime. Someone. The romance angels are helping you right now. Dear guardian angel of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love, for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes, and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. When these two cards come out together, people, I'm sorry, but there's a soulmate that's coming and there's nothing you can do about it. You're going to meet him if you haven't or her already. Okay? So it's somebody that you have just met, someone that just came into your life because you've made choices, you've changed something, or you're going to. And this person is going to be there like that. And they're going to recognize you right away. Because some people have dreams. They have precognizant dreams. They'll have a dream, you know, 30 years ago. And they're still wondering, who was that? And then, boom, there you are, 30 years later, in a dream to reality. And they'll recognize you. They'll know. One of you is going to know the other. You're going to meet someone that you already know from a past life. And it's the romance angels. If you're not ready, you can blame them for it. Because they're the ones that are bringing it to you. Okay? Thank them. Thank them for what, for what they're about to bring into your life. If they haven't already. Thank them. And here. Again. The same thing. Explore your options. Dear God. Thank you for your wisdom and love. Helping me see, understand, and assess. 
all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. Explore your options. Choice. Choose carefully. This is coming. But usually when something like this comes, you have more than one option. Because there it is, that duality. It's going to pull you in one direction and in another. You have to make the right choice. Explore the options. Don't close yourself off. Because you might meet more than one person. Two. You may meet more than one. So you have to really be careful of what you choose. Explore your options. Make sure you're going in the right direction. Make sure you're choosing for reasons from the heart. Make sure it comes from a loving, kind, giving, humanitarian place. Something loving. I mean, it's going to to be like a couple made in heaven. Very emotional, full of love, full of giving. These, This couple here is uh, people that that dedicate themselves to others, that are very spiritual, that are very loving and kind, humanitarians. They help children, they help adults, they're counselors, they're people that love their family, that are very loving and giving. They, they give it freely. Okay, it's a little different. These people are very kind and loving. And it's a wish, something that you guys have wished for. So, remember everything I've said. I love you guys truly, and I hope I'm not forgetting anything, because <laughs> I had a lot, of, a lot of channeling to do today. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you again, if I'm not partying, on my birthday. Bye, guys. Have a great and wonderful week, and don't forget, like my pages and my links, because I'm going to be writing down names. Okay, bye for now.